Now, we bring you these updated numbers every day, but you may be wondering what the future of coronavirus looks like for your city and county. Researchers at Old Dominion University launched an interactive prediction model online that gives you a look at case numbers and how things might look. Katie Collette spoke with the men behind the research. Katie, good morning. Good morning, Don. This is all so fascinating, so I want to get right to it. This COVID-19 prediction website was created by Old Dominion University's Virginia Modeling Analysis and Simulation Center. When you get to the site, scroll down to your city or county. When you select it, you'll see how many cases are currently in your city. Based on day-to-day -day rise, the researchers created a formula to predict what numbers for the next week could be. The biggest surprise is the kind of uh, difference between geographic areas. So in some places like Norfolk City, you can see a pretty strong evidence that it's starting to level off, at least from where it was um, when we started collecting data. In other places, we're just starting to see that, or maybe we don't have quite as much evidence that it's happened yet. Uh, Fairfax County, for example, might just be starting to hit that point, but even a week ago, it was still growing uh, pretty aggressively. Now, the model also uses a CDC mortality rate chart on COVID-19 cases in the U.S. to help estimate how many cases per age group may be occurring. So while on the site, you can see how many people in a certain age group are sick or have passed away from the virus. Information researchers say could be beneficial to battling COVID-19. Well, it helps give us a, it helps provide a number of insights into um, what the expected caseload within an area is going to be over time and can help in preparedness and in um, distribution of resources. Now, it is very important to keep in mind this is just a prediction model. The findings are not absolute, but it still gives a very interesting insight into numbers city by city and county by county, at least the potential numbers for what the future could hold. Now, there's a lot of information that goes into this model, including gathering information from Twitter. To find out what that's all about and to just check out the model, go to this story on wavy.com. Don? Katie, thank you very much.